Hi, comic book fans. I just wanted to talk about my favorite Marvel supervillain, and that supervillain is Doctor Doom. And just wanted to, I got my essentials, Marvel essentials of Fantastic Four, Volume One. There you go. I just wanted to show you his first appearance because I thought it was a really cool first appearance. Sorry, I lost my page there for a second. Here is the cover of the first appearance of Doctor Doom. Uh, he's closing all the air out from everybody so they all are losing their powers and stuff because they can't breathe. And there's Sue in the there's Sue trapped in the corner tied up. We find out why later on, but and here's the first time you ever see Doctor Doom. He's messing with some pawns that just look like or dolls that just look like the Fantastic Four. He's got books of science and sorcery and demons. What I like about Dr. Doom is he thinks he's always right. And um, he's, he's just very a, a really good bad guy for, for all the things he's, been, he's done in the past. And I just really like his, atti his attitude. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good bad guy. So he decides, uh, just, I'm just going to paraphrase real quick this comic book if anybody's ever seen it before. But he takes off, he thinks he's the only one that can destroy the Fantastic Four, so he hops in his helicopter there and takes off for, the, for New York. And, uh, of course, Fantastic Four, if you've read the earlier issues, like, I haven't, I read this book before, so I know that the Human Torch and the Thing are always arguing about something. And eventually, Dr. Doom arrives and drops this huge asbestos net over the Baxter building. And so obviously the Human Torch can't burn through it. He's telling them, like, send up Sue Storm and... Oh, sorry, that's over here. But, uh, you see right here, Reed Richards recognizes the voice. Right there. He says, that can't be. That person's dead. It's gonna be, it'll be hard to read the words, so I'm going to try to sort of mold a little along for you. And then it shows... And it shows Reed trying to explain how he knows that voice. And it's, he says he used to know someone in college named Victor Von Doom. And you can sort of see that he's mixing in sorcery there. And then there's science, there's science beside it. And then, but then there was a huge explosion right there. And because of that, he was horrible. Now, you, what's really interesting is you actually never see his face before the explosion. So you never really know what he looked like before the explosion. And then the, the dean here. I'm sorry, I was trying to angle myself correctly here, so let me see my face in there. But there's his, him in his uh, bandages, and they expel him for the explosion. So he decides to go to Tibet and find out a moment to expand his knowledge of science and sorcery. And then that's how Reed explains how the origin of Doctor of Victor Von Doom going to Doctor Doom, I would guess. And then there he is, saying that you have to send up the, the, the net's electrified, so thing can't break it, and human torture, like I said before, can't burn it. So they discuss it, and she goes, Sue Storm goes up to the top. So he's going to use her as, as a hostage to make the other Fantastic Four members go and do something for him. He's going to manipulate them into doing what he needs them to do. So here's, he gets them all in a little cage, and then you take off four his castle. It's kind of cool. He has a tiger beside him here. Uh, there he is, right here. There's a tiger. He's telling him, okay. And he first mentions his time machine, his tra time traveling device, right there. He wants them to go back into the past and steal Blackbird's, Blackbird's, Blackbeard's uh, treasure for, them, for him. So they, they agree, finally agree to it. And there's the first time they ever used the time machine. Time device, I'm sorry. So they go into the past. They go, sorry, they go into the past. And uh, not to, I, want to, I want to talk about Doom, not the fact that the thing wanted to actually stay in the past because he felt accepted, because he wasn't even feel like a monster. And the pirates accepted him for who he was, sort of thing. But then the sh eventually the ship burns down. Or, or sorry, I'm sorry, it sinks because of a. It sinks because of a. 
a twisted water twister. And then this thing comes back to the senses and right here they all get washed up on the beach because the ship gets destroyed. And he comes back to his senses. Saying, yeah, I know. No, I just felt accepted and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden the time machine's back for them and they have the treasure from Blackbeard. And then there's Doctor Doom standing there. So but then he opens up there's lots of first in my opinion, like there's lots of first things in here too. You find another one here, the first Doctor Doom, first time machine or time device. But Sue gets away. She causes an explosion and malfunction in the machine and explodes on Doctor Doom. So she gets away. And and then they uh sorry, I'm just trying to get to the one part. There it is. They get loose and then Doctor Doom comes to get the treasure and it's only full of a big chain. So Thing and Doctor Doom get into a tussle and the thing smashes the Doombot into pieces. So there's your first Doombot. And then the next panel has Doctor Doom in his little viewing screen saying, I'm not going to be that foolish, you know. And eventually the Fantastic Four get loose and they start you know, trying to find him in the castle. And up here they put a human torch, puts a ring of fire on the castle, and he's saying, You're not going to be able to stop me, sort of thing. And they're, and, uh, but then. So Dr. Doom hops on his rocket pack, oh, sorry, puts on his rocket pack, and takes off. And Human Torch tries to catch up with him, but because his flame doesn't last long in the beginning issues, and he sort of burns up, burns out a lot. So he can't keep up, and then he falls down, and Dr. Doom's gone. So this book is really cool, because, because it's got a lot of first appearances, the time device, the Doom bot, Dr. Doom himself. And you know, his or the origin of himself, how he, he caused an explosion. He must he caused it to himself. But again, what I found was really interesting is you never see his face ever in this first one. Not even like I mean, what I meant was in the beginning part. So yeah, he, Doctor Doom is my favorite favorite guy. He manipulates people. He do it to his own ends, and he he mixes science and sorcery together and he's very calculating and very specific to what he wants to do and what he wants to see. And he did he did bring his country back from the brink, so and if you ever have a chance to check it out, there was a uh a, it was called Doom War with Chikala. Chikala. Black Panther, that's better. And him trying to steal all the vibranium. If you ever have a chance chance to check that out too, if you haven't already, check it out. It's awesome. it's a really good book. And the reason I wanted to show this too is I wanted to show my favorite guy, for Super Villain, but I also wanted to show, I actually saved up enough money for it to actually get my own version of it. The CGC number four, graded four, and Fantastic Four number five. Now you'll see that there's a bit of a pen mark there, but that's okay with me. Because the cover, the cover other than that looks amazing. I think the cover looks great, but the problem is why I knocked it down is that the, the pages are a little brittle. It says, and uh, um, there's a, there's some writing on the inside of it, but you, it doesn't come through the cover or the back or the front. And the back is really nice too. There you go. That is super cool. The colors are really neat. There we go. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I was really excited about this guy. I mean, I, I, I read this first, and, I, and I've always liked Dr. Doom. I've got a lot of his comic books. Pardon me. But now I I finally got my own copy, so I'm pretty excited. So thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.